So before I get into this video, I'd like to say that there's going to be a lot of spoilers that I talk about from Attack on Titan, and if you haven't read up until chapter 116 of the manga, or if you haven't watched season 4 part 1, then I guess don't watch the video if you don't want to get spoiled, or if you, don't, if you do want to get spoiled, that's fine with me, I don't mind. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. So it's been a minute since Attack on Titan season 4 part 1 ended, and I just want to brush up on the idea of whether or not Aaron Yeager was really the villain of season 4. In short, no, he fucking wasn't. But there's so much to it on why this angry, pubescent child went from being that to this dude who had the ability to make an entire room quiet with his presence, and also cause this dude became the most manly man alive in just one season. The reason why some people thought that he became the villain is cause he did some pretty fucked up shit. Like he killed a bunch of people, destroyed a city, and killed some kids. Uh, you know what, maybe the last part is fine. Now I get it why that might make him look bad, but come on, like these guys have been going after him and his home for years, and for him not to retaliate is like telling a kid not to touch something even though the little cunt is still gonna do the shit. I don't know if that was a good analogy, but it's okay, doesn't matter. Or maybe it does, I don't know, fucking leave me alone. The main reason that pushed him to that point was because of all the titan memories that were messing with his head and basically drove him to a point where he just needed to get rid of titans completely. And yes, this child has been saying from the first day his mom died that he would get rid of all titans, but this is just basically completely wiping out the idea of titans. And to do that, he needs to get rid of an entire race, which I guess is fine, yeah? Yeah? No? Yes? Okay. See though, he's not completely in the wrong for wanting to do that since that is quite literally the only way for this whole war to end between Paradise Island and the rest of the world since it would just keep happening on repeat. Just like how I keep wanting to put I Want It That Way by the Baxter Boys on repeat all day every day and you can't tell me that that song doesn't fucking slap. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a See, the whole point of getting rid of the Eldian race is not by letting them have kids which would stop people from inheriting the titan power since even if no one eats any of the titans that means that once they die it will get transferred to some farm boy fuck. And I'm looking at you, Historia's baby daddy. So he needs to do what he thinks is the right way. If there was a better way to do it then he would have because he literally asks Hanji in the cell like give me a fucking better plan and I'll do it but even she couldn't come up with something. It just made Eren more willing to do his plan since there isn't any other one. They are also busy talking about how messed up Eren's plan is, but no one can come up with a better plan. Also the part where he basically says all the shit that he hates Mikasa, and if you really think that this dude hates Mikasa, then you're fucking stupid. He is literally telling her to be free from him and not to be his slave because he hates the fact that she's always running towards him when he's in danger. That's the point of him flaming her in that scene. But also him beating up Armin was kind of fun. I do get it though why a lot of characters have lost their trust in him. He basically forced them to come save him since every time he needs to be saved from someone, someone or the other dies like there's no stopping that. Though most of the time even though it's not even the dude's fault like he's just very good at getting kidnapped. I wouldn't be surprised if he just magically developed Stockholm Syndrome for getting kidnapped since it's happened so many fucking times. I don't understand where this narrative came in that he isn't the protagonist of the anime anymore. Like yeah, he still is, but not every protagonist is a good person. Like they don't do all good shit. Have you seen Light Yagami? He's a walking poster boy for being a protagonist who kills people. That doesn't change the fact that he isn't the protagonist anymore. Like, is that so hard to understand? I'm pretty sure what Isayama was doing here is that he wanted people to second guess or even make you feel that you can't decide on whose side you should be on since they are both bad. Though if you aren't on Eren's side, I pity you cause if you expect me not to root for Eren after spending 8 f long fucking years watching this dude scream on how he will kill all titans and then I don't think we were watching the same anime or manga whatever the fuck. Though I am only talking about what's going on in the anime and not the manga since I don't plan on reading it and it has finished a bit ago. So most probably the whole thing of people not wanting to side with Eren might change or it might not, who knows. There's still heaps of time until part 2 comes out and when that does happen I think people might just begin to side with him again or they might not, I don't know. I don't know what's what happens in the rest of the story because I feel like with all that shit that he has done like with Mikasa will be given a reasoning. What I felt though from this entire first part of the season was Eren just doing his own shit and not caring what others have to say since what he is doing will essentially protect them from getting killed or just a war happening which I mean then again he is having a war but you get it. 
And the reason why I'm not talking about what's going on in the manga is because I don't read the manga. Like I said before, and I don't plan on reading it because I just want to watch the anime. That's what I've started with and that's what I'll end with. And yeah. So, I mean, that's all I gotta say, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like and I will see you next time. Peace. Hey, mama said if I keep living like this, I'm gonna die too young.